years, refractive surgery has undergone many exciting advancements. Introduced in 1987, photorefractive keratectomy, or PRK, was the first refractive procedure to use computer-controlled laser technology to reshape the cornea with microscopic precision. PRK has had a consistent history of delivering good results and is a good treatment option for some patients, but there are drawbacks to this procedure. These occur because PRK involves removing a thin layer of the cornea, leaving the surface of the eye exposed after the procedure. PRK results in longer recovery times, discomfort after the procedure, a greater risk of infection, and potential development of hazy vision during recovery. Introduced in 1991, laser-assisted in situ keratomolusis, or LASIK, improved upon the PRK procedure. This procedure involves cutting a flap deep into the cornea using a metal blade. LASIK delivers excellent results with shorter recovery times and less discomfort than PRK. LASIK is a good treatment option for many patients, but there are potential complications with the flap. The development of ectasia, a bulging of the cornea, and increased risk of developing dry eye compared to PRK. Introduced in 2004, Subbowman's keratomolusis, or SBK, is the latest evolution in refractive surgery called bladeless LASIK. Rather than using a metal blade that cuts through corneal tissue, bladeless LASIK creates an ultra-thin flap using computer-controlled laser pulses, gently separating the outer layer of the cornea from the layer to be treated. This technique preserves the integrity of the eye structure, delivering superior vision correction. Because the flap is made at a uniform depth and shape, patients experience shorter recovery times, less discomfort, and reduced risk of developing dry eye. Bladeless LASIK is poised to become the gold standard of refractive surgery because it offers the advantages of both PRK and LASIK while lessening the drawbacks associated with each procedure.